Fantasy Island. Now we did say, we did say that Adventure Island was a really, really easy one to pick from. Not as easy as Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island, owned by Mellors, uh, you know, you might just think it's a bunch of traveling rides. Some of them are, some of them are quite well themed. They just have a wonderful, wonderful selection of attractions and a place I need to visit a little bit more, to be honest with you. Which ones would I keep and which ones would I ditch? I'm gonna make this really, really simple. There is just one ride at that park that I would ditch, and that is the Busy Dizzy. That's it, that's it. It's just, and I know, I know that the idea of the place is it's not really so much of a massive theme park, it's a nice seaside resort. It's got a bit of everything, and yet it has had better rides, Beast, in the past, but it's got such a variety selection which the park can interchange so much to keep people interested. Big roller coasters like Millennium and Odyssey are brilliant roller coasters. I mean, the SLC, however you might think about it, is a real draw to the park. Even rides like Rumbus Rocket, which has undergone a little bit of a refurb recently, look fantastic, and it's definitely rides I would keep at the park. The Magical Sequarium, the Jellikins, and of course a ride that's actually quite close to our heart, the Fireball from Funland Hailing Island. Love that machine. Is at home at Fancy Island, I would definitely, definitely keep it. The park then have quite a lot of standard sort of fair type rides in a twister. They have a techno jump, both of which fit the park and are definitely ones we would keep. Along with the Dodgems, the park also have a log flume as well, which is great to see really fits the area of the log flume it's wonderfully wonderfully themed in and it's definitely one that we would be keeping they are then home to some thrill rides thrill rides that you don't see that often they include volcano a wonderfully themed shoot tower and of course magic magic which we don't really have in the uk apart from this one backup rides with sea storm the balloons the glow worm it just has a little bit of everything for everyone, for top end thrill seekers, for families, it is quite a holiday driven area over there in Skegness um, with various caravan parks, including the Butlins. And I think the park are really, really onto a winner with the existing rides they have and rides they can swap in and out. And again, sure, there's been some better rides in the past and some of these off the list might not even be there in 2022, but we've got a lot to choose from there. Now, are any of these unique enough to make our top 40? I have to say I don't know, to be honest with you. I think they suit the park very, very well. If I own the park, I can't imagine trying to replace that SLC with something in a good price bracket. I think what they've got really, really fits the demograph and fits kind of the fact that people tend to go on holiday once a year there and make the most of it once a year. But what do you think? If you own Fantasy Island, what would you keep and what would you ditch? Let us know, let us know in the comments below. Will any of these make our top 40? I don't know. Stay tuned though, we'll be revealing it very, very soon.